gadget casting has become very popular and with many good reasons. A Skagit cast was invented in the Pacific Northwest of America where they had to throw big flies and heavy sinking lines to get the fly down to the fish there. What they invented was a system, a sink tip system really, where you have a really heavy and thick uh, non-tapered belly and in front of that you add a tip a sinking tip and then a short monofilament leader and a big fly. What they then did was that they used this system to of course get down into the different deep areas of the currents but they also cast it in a very specific way. What separates Skagit casting from traditional spay is the fact that you use short shooting heads and you always work on some sort of sustained anchor whereas a, a traditional spay cast in many areas is an airborne anchor. Now a sustained anchor is when you put the leader and the tip of your fly line on the water. When it lies there it sinks down and then you move it from there where the leader is still in the water. That is a sustained anchor. The airborne anchor is when you lift it off, go back, set it on the water, and so that you lift the line off the water during your casting motion. So Skagit always uses a form of a sustained anchor. Put it in the water, move and cast from there. The way you do a Skagit cast is the same way as you would do a circle C cast. You hold the rod tip into your own bank and then you create a circle starting slow, ending fast and then put the rod tip into your own bank. That brings the leader out into the water. From there you have good time to reposition your cast in the direction you want to go. Where you just do the similar motion as you would do in an underhand cast. If I do this in full speed, I do the circular motion, bringing the rod tip round and into my own side, move the anchor and cast. Because the fly line is relatively untapered, it will lift the sinking tip really easily and moving the big fly away from you. This is of course very handy when you're fishing with big flies. It's also very easy because you have like a stop position there where you have good time to reposition your cast before you cast forward. You get it away from the bank and in that context it's a perfect cast for a situation like this. However there is also a disadvantage. The disadvantage is that you splash an awfully lot. If you take a look at the water in front of me I do the circle, sustain the anchor and now I move it. Take a look at how much I splash in the water. That is, in some instances, not a good idea. Especially when you're fishing a river like this that is quite calm, but if you have very heavy current, then it's no problem. So the place where you're fishing will dictate how well a Skagit system will suit that situation. But it's a very effective way to cast. Sometimes when we're fishing for salmon in the early season we use rather big and heavy flies. This is not the biggest or the heaviest but still a big and heavy fly. It's got an aluminium tube and a, a long sunker strip wing which will get very heavy and wet. To cast big flies the Skagit system is perfect because it has a short leader, this is basic monofilament leader, and then you have a sinking tip. These, these are called T-tips. A sinking tip will 
get your fly down, but will be relatively easy to, to get off the water because it's not an entirely sinking line. In the end of your T-tip, there is a floating line, and this is rarely untapered. So it's, it's really heavy and thick in the end where it connects to the T-tip. The reason for this is that this will enable this line to pick up the sinking line and turn it over. There's a lot of energy in a thick line, so it's just to distribute power out through the line. This gadget head is, uh, uh, weighs 31 grams. It is for a nine weight fly rod. And this is what I would normally use if I was to take a shooting head, I would choose one 32, 31, 32 grams. So the Skagit head matches the normal head weight that I would choose. The T-tip adds weight because this is a piece of fly line. So this will add to the weight of your total fly line. So the Skagit system will, if you put both heads on the weight, weigh a bit more than your traditional type of lines. But that is part of the efficiency of them, that they can load the rod deeply and carry out big flies. <laughs>